So you want to get started with GreenShift. GreenShift this is a great tool that offers a lot just for free. The plugin and the theme itself. You don't even need to purchase GreenShift Pro for most websites. But you would like to start in the right way. So I will help you from setting up your domain until you have a running website. So let's get to it. So let's get started by opening up our browser and go to your favorite domain hosting website. For me it's Hostinger. You can use a link down in the description below and you will get 20% off of this deal. You can pick any plan and the reason why I use Hostinger is because they are offering Lightspeed. Uh, let's have a look here in the menu section. Here you have Lightspeed and in my uh, personal opinion it works very great. Now I'm going with the cheapest option because I'm not using WooCommerce. I don't care about staging or object cache in this instance. If you do care about that it will speed up your website even more and it will support WooCommerce so you can add it to the card as well. For me I will just go for pre premium in this case. So I will add it to the card and here you have 48 months and at $2.39 and I think it's a very great deal if you ask me even considering when you get 20% off when using my link down in the description. For this tutorial though I will be using the one month costs because I don't want this website to exist in the future. So I will select that one and press login. I've set it up using my Google account. So you have a social login as well and then you can fill in your payment credentials so i will do that now in my case i will be redirected to paypal and in your case you will be redirected to another page so when you have paid you will be redirected to the control panel of hostinger and you can start using your website so for who is this website going to be going to be for myself next so here you can set your wordpress admin language and fill in your administrator email so let's go for review and fill in your admin password now i'm using keeper to save my password for later on so i never forget it you hit next what kind of type of website would you like to build i want to build a mm, let's go with portfolio for now or something else let's hit next how do you want to start building your portfolio i want to use standard themes what would your like portfolio look like you will be using astra neve so there's a great way but i want to use something different i want to use screen shift i'm going to st skip this text do you want pre-selected plugins to for your portfolio so there's a option to install these ones but i don't want them i want full control do you want to install those plugins no i already said that i don't want to install these plugins we can search for green shift i don't know if it's available yes it's available and here we have also the smart code so we'll be installing those and one of my favorite seo tool seo press would also be installed there we go and then you will hit next so now it's uh, time to fill in your name name so let's get this one next how many billing for your domain name would you like i just want to have it for one year and then we complete payment then we go to the next step which domain name registration and then you fill in your contact details this is needed to register your domain name to you then you click finish registration and you click register now it's setting up your domain here it is where is your target audience we can keep it as is it's fine i guess we go for next and now it's installing wordpress so then you will be going to your h panel from hostinger and here you have your website so the first thing you should do if you ask me is set up your email so let's do that so we select a free one we add legs i want to create a new one copy i want to generate my new new password and then we select create what we'll be using the email account i will be using it on the browser and then we can open up our webmail so that's done for uh, email and everything is set up something needs to be fixed we need to fix it automatically but it's a very nice thing that can be fixed automatically so now you have set up your email and also have your website up and running so when you go to websites you see your website and we can go to our admin panel so here we are 
it's nice that you have already some kind of steps if you would like to um, help you out but I don't like this experience so let's see if we can remove it hostinger goodbye hostinger I don't I don't need this so now we have a clean install appearance to install our green chip theme we'll select add new theme in the top and let's zoom in a little so you can follow along more easily we'll be searching for green shift and then hit install and then hit activate you now will continue on the theme configuration there's a big purple button here that helps you set up so you can select your primary color if you do not already have your colors and you would like to see what colors would be available and what colors you would like to use there will be a link down below that provides you with this amazing free web design resources you can use from colors to fonts to uh, images and the top ones are my favorite ones and this is an overview of everything that's available for free my favorite one to select color if you don't have it already is this one it's from a coder online that wanted to an easy way to create some color schemes as you can see you can just hit the randomized color and you can different colors so use this one and we go back to our green shift website and we fill in the colors that we would like oh, we copy and paste everything in here for your hex colors now this is a little bit of a downside they are using the core gutenberg things and you can't copy and paste things in there so that's a little bit downside for me but hey when you get going you get going right so when you filled in your colors you would like to use you can go on and change the title so start with screen shift add the description for your website getting started and you can also add your logo or your icon so i don't have any logo yet so i will go to one of my favorite logo websites logo Ipsum. and you can just grab one you like um i like this one let's download it when you download a logo from logo x ipsum it is a svg which is not supported by default for wordpress so you need to convert the svg to a png let me just upload the logo and download then go to our website and when you've downloaded it you can select and upload your logo so there we have it selected and the side icon as well so now we can save and continue next step will be that you select what kind of template you would like to have would you like the default home page template available from green shift or that can be edited in the site editor later on um, i will be covering that later uh, you can also customize it you can create a new home page you can select the templates available from green shift now there are a lot of options already available some require some add-ons like the animation add-on a different theme because green shift is part of wp soul and wp soul sells rehub theme as a theme on code canyon there are some free options as well and there are some options for query add-on and the woocommerce add-on for this demo let's select this simple fancy landing page so we hit import and there you have your landing page already with everything imported and then you hit save and continue then you can select your header style what kind of header style would you like would you like your logo on the left menu in the middle and button on the right or would you have to like to have your logo in the middle would you like to have a search icon different kind of zone and you can select any option you would like i think i will go with this one then the search icon is already in there which always is useful for a any website i think you can also go to templates again and then see what kind of header there is available and this is a header for a web shop which isn't this tutorial so we're going to select the header with search icon and then hit save and continue next you can choose the footer i like the mega footer again you can select templates and there are a few available but i would like use the mega footer and here you can see example of that one as well and we can hit save and continue now what other pages would you like to have would you like to have a blog page yes i do contact page i would like to have a price page and a team page i don't need a product comparison page but depending on your wishes you can add them as well and then we hit save and continue now these are some extra steps to already get a defined look and feel for your posts single default with cover block 
with negative margin i don't see any real differences in this case so let's go with this one save and continue then you can change the archive grid as well but again not seeing a lot of changes so we just hit save and continue so if you would like to use your own fonts you can upload them give it a name you can also check out the documentation for me the default fonts is actually good enough you can also set some breakpoints that there are some css options in here that you can add script options some header and footer code the interface what would you like to use and some api keys that you can connect to uh, your greenshift website now let's have a look for the things that we just set up so here's our first website we have some items already available we have a blog page we have a contact page we have a single post page hey this looks different and uh, it looks way nicer if you ask me you have a prices page and you have a team page so it's already nice setup just for getting you started and you just generated your first website congratulations but there are some things i would like to change for instance the menu at top here it doesn't look good so let's change that you can change that in the editor and this is not from greenshift but it's part of wordpress core so it's also updated by wordpress core itself the menu is part of a pattern where can you find your menu you can find your menu one place is in the navigation but where i like to change the menu itself is going to patterns and then here you have template parts and there you have a section that is called header when you open up your header you have your header and you can then edit it by clicking on the preview or the icon edit icon and here you will get some information on how to get started but i just want to select the navigation and change it and we can open up the blocks panel and in here we can change so it states that you should not do it in here you should do it in this page we're going to drag home there block should be next and team and contact should be last right team should be under contact let's say it's safe and now you have changed your menu if you refresh the page you will see it reflected as well and there's your nice drop down menu as well so next maybe the color of this button doesn't look good so i would like to change it you can go to your styles and change the color accordingly to the theme color already available so we select white and now the button is changed and if we look at our website you can see that the download button also changed now for the next thing i think i would like to update our blog so we can do that by open the navigation press the arrow back and press the arrow back again and go into the, our templates templates are just like a word template it has some predefined things in there already and it's getting reused throughout website so if we would like to change our archive we go to archive and we're going to change this page by clicking on the preview and i don't like that it has archive type name in it can be removed because i don't need it there's a term description that's good enough and perhaps i would like to add something else so we can open our blog toggler here and the, we can add a header which is our menus or we can add a green shift header and here we have a predefined hero section a pattern that can already be added like this so we can change the text latest news and if we hit save you will see it reflected on our archive page as well well as you can see this is a page so what we can do is just hit edit page and move it to bin because we removed our blog page now we need to edit our header so we go to our header and add the blog in again for the navigation uh, let's see category link blog and we add it in here and we remove the page we hit save and if we refresh the page now you see blog there and here it's reflected that we are using our template so this is our navigation that's also used within our template and that's the one that we changed uh, just now so usually patterns are used within templates you have two kinds of patterns you have synced patterns and 
non-sync patterns. Sync patterns will be the same throughout the website and non-sync patterns can be changed however and whenever you feel like. So everything from the color to the text can be changed and it will not reflect on other pages. A great example of a synced pattern would be a menu and footer, but also a author block. You would like it to be the same on every block page. A non-sync pattern should be like a hero section. A hero section can be a hero section can have the same styling, but you would like different content in there. And that's a great example of a non-synced pattern. Now you also have a pages available and those are the default pages that GreenShift has created for you during this setup and you also have styles but because we're using the GreenShift styles I use, most of the time don't use this one but as you can see the colors we are, we've added is already selected in there as well and you can make changes whatever you like so now you, now you have a basic understanding on the template, templating system and when to use templates and patterns. Let's go to the blocks that you have available. You go to post and then uh, let's for this example add a new post. You can open up all your available blocks by clicking the plus item and there you have your container, your CSS grid, this kind of things. For most people I would recommend to use the row because that's using Flexbox under the hood and uh, it's just easier to understand. Besides the toggle block selector, you have some tools. I never use that. Then you have an undo and a an redo and you have a document overview. If you have a lot of blocks in there, it's really nice to have those settings available. And here we have a panel for your SEO app optimization. So if you would like to optimize your blog post for search engine optimization, you can make some changes here. For now, let's close this one. And on the right side, uh, another one. And on the right side, you have some presets available. You can use a visual builder to change how the overall row would look and be. And there are some other settings available there as well. You need to play around with it to get an understanding of green shift. So that's actually the basics of the blocks. GreenShift also has some templates already available for you. You can open up the templates here. And here you have some sections you can already have. And if you would like to insert some of the sections, you can just import. Some require another add-on, but others don't. And you can just hit import. And if you would wait a few seconds, it's important like that and you will get a beautiful looking website pretty fast using the GreenShift blocks. Now, if you want to consider purchasing the animation add-on on the query add-on because you need more power, you will get a lot more if you ask me. Um, let's look at this preview. It's made with GreenShift. You can download the code for free and as you can see, this is a AirPods Max recreation done in GreenShift. What else is there that's amazing? For instance, for uh, marketing tools or for affiliates, you can have a comparison table and it will look like this. You can recreate it yourself in GreenShift as well using the free version, but this one offers a lot more because this is well, well thought out on how you, how you should use this as well. So the user experience is much better than doing it yourself. There's also a full width slider. You can also have a pin scroll effect, which is this kind of effect also recreated from Apple. And I think it looks really nice. There's also an option to use the query add-on. So if you would like to query your WordPress meta fields, that's really suggest to use that one. And it is a preview in here, but it gets the name of the device the amount of flight time and the FPS it has. If you consider purchasing the add-ons, there's a link down in the description as well for those. There are also some amazing wireframes already available for you to easily add in. And the fancy library where Igor did some challenges on recreation on some of the things. And for instance, this effect, and you can add it with one click that's really nice now this was quite a lengthy tutorial longer than the rest of tutorials i usually make but now you have an understanding on how you can create your website 
from setting up your domain until you have a running website with some of the basic pages. So setting up your website is just one of the things you need to do. The next step would be to create your pages. If you would like to see me struggle a little bit with recreating the Drive Capital website, you can watch this playlist with all of my live streams from the Drive Capital website recreation steps that I made. And if you're still watching, subscribe to my channel and keep designing.